Hi, my name is Dennis McKinley. I'm married, I have children, I have grandchildren. In Mark's Gospel, chapter 14, verse 26, we hear, and then they sang a hymn before they went out to the Mount of Olives. And I quote that because music is what has drawn me deeper and deeper into the church. When I was in college, my college professor asked me to join the men's choir over at Our Lady Queen of Peace. And six months later, I was asked to be the director of it. And I've been directing choirs on and off um, for 51 years. What I've found in directing choirs is that the choir is uh, a community within a community. And the graces uh, that flow from the Holy Spirit come through the members of the choir and down to the congregation. The purpose of the choir is not to, to be a concert group, but to draw the congregation deeper and deeper into prayer through singing. Singing is important. Almost every thing we read about heaven, especially um, as, as we read in the... Oh, okay. That's okay. We can um, just start fresh from there. What a great start. Yeah. Yeah, but I Absolutely. won't be able to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might be able to put okay. parts together. Can I just so. start, restart now? Yeah. I mean, in the middle? Sure. Okay. Yeah. It, especially as we read in the book of Revelations, almost everything involves singing. So for those who don't like singing in church, you better get used to it because you're going to be doing a lot of singing in heaven. But allow this singing to enter your body, to enter your soul, and to draw the Holy Spirit through you in worshiping God, in the holy sacrifice of the Mass, and in our other devotions. I found that, that music was what drew me in deeper and deeper into our liturgies and into the understanding of what goes on during that sacrifice of the Mass. I hope you decide to give music a good try. And it doesn't matter what your voice sounds like, to God, all voices are beautiful.